Hi everybody, it's Kanisha with Urban Bella welcoming you to a detangling tutorial today on type 4C hair. So join me and the Urban Bella Salon team as we take you from this detangled look to this finished look. Uh, we hope that if you have any questions you'll ask us but we'll walk you through the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi everybody, I'm Kanisha Hudson with Urban Bella. Y'all know me. So um, we're going to do some live uh, video today. I wanted to quickly tell you what we're going to do. This is our client Sandra. She volunteered <laughs> under duress to get her hair done live tonight in front of you all. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandra comes to Urban Bella every week and I'm going to, over the course of this evening, I'll get her to tell you a little bit more about her journey with natural hair. You going to share your journey with natural hair? Uh, I if guess. I give you some champagne, please. Yeah. I'm going to give her some champagne so she's <laughs> going to share her journey about natural hair. Point tonight really is to talk about detangling. And Sandra has very thick, really thick hair, and she has type 4B, 4C hair. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you all how we go through and detangle someone with really thick hair. I know that can be complicated sometimes. Um, so we, Sean and I have about, what, about six or seven tips that we're going to share tonight with you all and demo on Sandra. You will also get to see Sandra's hair after it's highlighted. You will get to see us put Crigel on her hair and style it and see the finish. It's very important when you're detangling hair to detangle with the conditioner on. Um, you want to lubricate the hair strands because textured hair, especially the kinkier it is and the frizzier it is, the more it loops together and tangles together, the cuticles more raised um, on more afro textured hair. So it makes it uh, more difficult for those hair strands to loosen up around each other. So when you put oil on the hair, everything begins to glide together more easily, move apart more easily. Um, the other thing too is that, um, think of it like spaghetti. When you make spaghetti, you put a little oil in the pot, um, the noodles come apart a lot more easily. You can more easily, you know, serve it, eat it, everything. So let me just quickly go over a few things like that. We here at Urban Bella have a very special tool we like to use. This is the detangling comb we like. We call it the praying comb. That's because we always feel like it looks like praying fingers like this or kind of like this. But this is exactly how the comb is made. You can see it's kind of hollow. You can put your, well, don't put your fingers in there, but you can kind of put your, you can see through there. Um, this comb is phenomenal for detangling. I know a lot of people like tangle teasers and brushes and finger detangling and things like that. I'm gonna just briefly say, it, as a professional hair salon, we see a lot of clients. We see, uh, most of our clients have very thick, thick, dense hair. Um, a lot of them have long hair, although lately people have been cutting it short. That's a new trend if you didn't know. Um, we have to get through the hair relatively quickly so that we can service you and you're not here all day. We're able to detangle people with this particular comb very quickly with minimum or really no, no pain at all. And we really don't, a lot of the hair doesn't come out. I know finger detangling is popular because you don't um, lose as much hair. That's the same thing with this comb. As a matter of fact, one of the things I can point out to you is the change in height of the teeth has a lot to do with how easy it is to get through the hair. You'll find most of your favorite detangling tools, the teeth height will change. That allows you to pull the hair through more easily. So this is one of our favorite, this is our favorite comb. We make sure that every person on the team has one of their own so that when they are working with a the client, they're able to jump right in here with this. Okay, so you know Urban Bella. You already know our non-lather cleanser. Very, very popular. Everybody loves it because it contains lots of peppermint essential oil and lots of menthol to the point where you can feel it on your scalp. But your hair is left really, really soft. So this is the first step in really making the detangling process more, much easier. It's difficult to detangle natural hair when you um, have used a lot of lather. And don't get me wrong, you need to use lather on your hair, but not every time you wash it. Um, and this particular shampoo that we've made will get, keep your hair and scalp clean, remove build up, all of that beautiful stuff. Then you need conditioner. This is the Urban Bella Hydrating Conditioner. If you're having any issues with moisture, any issues with your natural hair at all, these are the two things that you need. Really, seriously, it's going to transform your hair condition. So we're just gonna jump right on in and show you all exactly how we go about detangling the hair. We're going to show you our technique here. So you saw the products, you saw everything that we use there. So let me just kind of go back to Sandra here 
and let's show you exactly what we do. So one of the first things we want you all to know is that um, we really, really work in sections. So although Sandra has a ton of hair, uh, one of the main to do in there, combing through the ends first allows you to get usually the most tangled part, the part that's a little bit older, um, the ends tend to be thinner, that's where you're going to have your split ends. Um, what we're showing you here is that we're showing you that we don't have a lot of hair in the comb versus how dense and thick Sandra's hair is. We know a lot of people worry about, you know, detangling with combs because you have so much <clears throat> hair that you could possibly lose, but you really, really don't. So just kind of take note there. We don't have a lot of hair. Uh, you see how thick Sandra's hair is, and that's not something you have to worry about too tough. So nonetheless, um, I'm going to quickly go through some key points here. One of the main things that we do in order to make detangling easy points here, one of the main things that we do in order to make detangling easy is uh, not only do we comb through the ends as you see there, but we comb through the, uh, we, we back into it. So starting at the ends and then working our way up as we go along. Now, um, one of the uh, main things we also do is we wash hair once a week. Washing and detangling your hair once a week is going to reduce how matted the hair gets, how long it takes to do it. The longer you wait, the longer, the more uh, shedded hair is hanging out in your actual hair shaft. And that can actually make it just more difficult to detangle, makes it take a whole lot longer. Um, again, don't forget to work in sections. Another key part of making the detangle process easier and making managing very thick, dense, 4C natural hair easier is trimming your hair. Now we recommend clients come in and get trims at least every 90 days. And sometimes you don't even have to do that. That's no big deal either. But some, you know, at least gauge it and see where you are. We can let you know. Um, the other thing that we do is if you haven't detangled your hair in a long time, say two to three weeks, um, we recommend sometimes before you go into shampoo that you put some oil or water on your hair and pre-detangle. Comb through those curls that have clumped together, which can be very pretty, but can be very difficult to work with after you've shampooed with lather and then you've shampooed again with your non-lather cleanser. You know, that can make your, your post-cleansing detangling process really, really difficult. And by pre-detangling, you make it a lot easier. You can even put a little bit of oil, a little bit of water on the hair, and that's going to help you a lot too. Um, and by a little oil and a little water, we mean just enough to dampen it so you can just kind of comb through it. Um, you know, our goal here is to make you uh, make sure you're less intimidated by working with natural hair. We know a lot of people are, particularly type 4C naturals who have a lot of thick hair, tend to be a little more nervous about doing that. So make sure you do those few things. Um, in a minute here, we're going to show you about vertical detangle. And again, I want to emphasize here in the video where you can see, notice how we're combing through the ends. It's very easy for us. We're using the comb that we love that we showed you earlier in the video. It just makes our job a lot easier. I promise you, clients comment all the time in the salon about how fast we get through their hair, how it does not hurt, how it doesn't seem like we're working that hard. And truthfully, for us, you know, we're not really working that hard. It's not that difficult. Um, so moving on through the rest of the tips, um, one thing we also suggest you don't do is put your hair up in the top of your head. Um, a lot of people like to do pineappling, which is not a terrible concept, but you have to be careful with your hair type. For type 4 C's, we don't typically recommend pineappling to stretch the hair. It makes the hair more matted and more difficult to work with. So definitely, you know, we recommend using that uh, with, with caution. Um, so combing through the ends first, getting a good comb, parting the hair in sections are, you know, most of the tips that work really, really well for us. So. For the rest of the video, you can just kind of watch as we go through. We'll speed up the process a little bit. Um, one thing too, we do something called vertical detangling. You're going to see us do that here in the video. And this is one of the ways with the vertical detangle, how we keep the hair from hurting. I'm sorry, this is how we keep it from hurting while we're detangling your hair. Um, and it also helps if you have been in a sew-in for a very long time and you have a piece of hair that's just clumped together so bad that you really can't get through it with ease, 
the vertical detangle is going to help you a lot and just notice how easy it is for us to call we've got plenty of conditioner on so we weren't skimpy with that sometimes it's even easier to it's even easier to do this process while you have you know water running over the hair whether you shampoo your hair in your tub or in your shower you'll find that process to be a lot easier with that as well um, and again, if you have any questions about detangling, any challenges, you know, the Urban Bella Salon is definitely here to support you. So give us a call. We're at 404-255-5022. We can get your hair trimmed for you. That's going to really be a saving grace for you. We can also get your hair. Um, we can get, you know, deep conditioning your hair is going to help you a lot as well. It's going to put a lot more suppleness in the hair, make it a lot less brittle and a lot easier to work with. One thing here we're talking about, notice how Shauna's got her hand, she's holding Sandra's hair at the root, and then she's combing through the shaft of the hair. This minimizes pain, so this is perfect for mommies with little ones with natural hair. So holding the hair at the root, then combing it, it reduces the tension that you feel on the scalp, okay? Very, very important, very, very key part of detangling the hair and making it much, much easier. So that's going to make the process nice a lot of times people you know they ask us why it doesn't hurt it's because we hold the hair at the root and then pull through okay so i'm going to show you we're going to show you our vertical detangling process and then once we do that we will put the video on fast forward a bit and if you have any questions please just give us a call again i'll post the number to the um the salon in the comment section of the video i will also post oh there's the vertical detangle so notice we hold the comb almost like a meat cleaver yes like like an axe and we comb through the hair vertically that's going to really help pull through whenever we hit like a serious serious knot you know sometimes we'll take a small comb and work through it but a lot of times that gets it if you have a lot of hair that works great if you've had a sew in or win or crochet braids and you've worn that for a long time definitely use vertical detangle um, but again I'm going to post plenty of information here for you I'll fast forward the video because the rest of it is um, just pretty much the same technique um, if you would like to see the full video of this where we filmed it live and um, it doesn't have my edited version of this education you can actually see the live version on Facebook uh, just go visit Urban Bella's Facebook page visit our website www.urbanbella.com click on Facebook click on our Facebook icon and then click on the videos in our Facebook page and you can actually see and hear the full live version of this video I thank you all so much for joining us and listening in and again I'll post all the links you need to our social media um, there is a finished style with this where there's another version of this video where Sandra Sayre shares her natural hair journey um, and we show you how we actually styled her hair from um, the detangling to the wash and go but again, I thank you all so much for joining me again for another Urban Bella tutorial.